welcome back to the channel. Six camper van, must have items. Prices ranging from £800 right down to £12.99. And you wouldn't believe it, but the one at £12.99 is my favorite of all. Let's take it away. Would you believe me if I told you that five of those six items are in this shot right now? I'll give you a couple of seconds, see if you can spot them. No? Well, I'm gonna take them away now, see if that makes it easier. Number one on the list, guys, and it is the most expensive item on the list. It's around 800 pounds, and it is my awning. Mine is a Fiamma F45. I absolutely love it. Without doubt, it is the first thing that I set up when I turn up at my final destination. Um, inevitably, here in the UK, you're probably gonna experience some rain on your camping trip at some point, so it shields you from the rain, but it also shields you from the sun. On a day like today, I'm facing into the sun. It still gives you that massive patch of shade that you can hide from the sun just as important as hiding away from the rain, they take seconds to set up and they offer you that outside inside. I absolutely love it. I don't know how people have a van set up without one. So number one on the list is my awning. Number two on the list, it is the tire table. Absolutely love this design. Um, basically, it is a table that wraps around your tire. Um, probably hence the name tire table absolutely awesome bit of kit whenever i go to a show or a camp spot people are always asking about the tire table i have a whole video dedicated to the tire table alone it goes a bit more in depth awesome bit of kit offers you that flat surface outside off the ground nice and quick setup i use it for everything i use it for cooking i use it for cleaning honestly i wouldn't be without it once again Wait till you get to the end of the video and then check out the link in the description. I have a UK supplier that's working with me because they're not readily available over here in the UK. Now they are about 150 pounds, 150 pounds well spent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's number two on the list. Number three on the list, it's a good chair. So this is an ARB touring chair. You don't necessarily need to buy one of these. I picked this up at a show for around 85 pounds. It's absolutely lovely, really, really strong, really, really comfortable. There's always stuff to do when you go camping. There's always a job, but there will come a point of the evening where it's time to sit down. So you want to grab yourself a decent chair. So here's my chair. You don't need to get one of these necessarily. You just need to find your own version of what you think is a good chair. Mine's nice and strong, like I said to you. Um, it's picked up a bit of fire damage. It's got pockets on the side. It did have a cup holder that I snapped off because I closed it all back up with the cup holder still connected. No issues. I've had that about four years now. It's lasted the test of time. Absolutely love it. What I will say about these, um, these larger chairs is they are bulky. They don't close down as small as some of the cheap um, little camping chairs. I do carry a couple of cheap camping chairs um, for guests and believe it or not, mainly my little doggy, he shares one of them. But yeah, that's number three on the list. Get yourself a good camping chair. Jumping straight in there, number four and number five off of my list of top six camper van must-haves. And they are the Bullfinch outside shower point and outside gas point absolutely fantastic i do all of my smelly real aggressive cooking outside making use of my tire table and my awning can you see where this is going and then once all of that smelly cooking's done i do the washing up i use the outside shower point basically as an outside tap to do all of my washing up keeping all of the water on the outside keeping all of the stinky smells on the outside of the van who wants to go to bed after doing steak for heaters four feet away from their bed that's absolutely horrible i try to keep all of my smelly cooking outside and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take you for a closer look now if you are enjoying this video please do consider subscribing drop me a comment down below tell me what you do like tell me what you don't like maybe um, and maybe even let me know what your favorite camper van accessory is now then, let's get back to it this is the bullfinch outside gas point you basically plumb in a little plate, little prefabricated plate, you bolt it to the side of your van, you plumb that into your gas line, that is permanently live. And then when you plug in their special little governor here, 
you get an outside gas point. Now the options for that are endless after you fitted one of these. Um, I actually use mine for a, um, a real big gas ring where I could do big um, pots of chili and big skillets of bacon in the morning, all the real stinky stuff, because I don't want to be doing all that stinky stuff inside, like I've just said. Um, but also, nowadays, you can get outside pizza ovens. You can get a pizza oven, which is LPG. So how cool is that, having a um, pizza oven bolted to the side of your van? Absolutely awesome. Absolutely love that. So we just plug that in, turn that. Can you smell it? it? Stinks. That gives you an outside gas line. Absolutely wicked. Now, once all of your smelly cookies done and everything's covered in grease and bacon fat, all the good stuff, I don't be taking all that stuff in my lovely van. Oh no. I open that second flap, put the equivalent in, which is basically a shower, um, plumb that into your hot and cold, absolutely cracking. Turn that, it's hot and cold, it's blended, it's not thermostatic, so be careful because it will let you get hot, hot. And then that's trigger operated. Basically, under my awning, with my tire table, you see where this is going, I do all of my cooking and my washing up. I leave all of my plates and my cutlery out in the open air to dry off. Absolutely cracking, love it. Right, I am fully aware that all of my camper van items so far are not actually based inside my camper van. Um, they're all things that I use on the outside of my camper van. Now, what I will say is I see my camper van as a large vessel of luxury that I can take to be in the outdoors. I don't necessarily, um, if I'm truthful, spend much time in my camper van. It's, it's a case of being able to go somewhere, be in the outdoors, but then sleep in a nice bed, drink cold beer, have a warm shower. Um, if I'm totally truthful with you, 90% of the time I'm spent outside. So I just use this to carry all of my cool stuff and carry all my luxuries. So I fully understand the irony that all of these items are actually for things that are on the outside of my vehicle. It's not lost on me. Number six on the list it is the Bug Zapper. Now I actually found this item in the special aisle at Aldi. Um, it was branded as Adventurage. I haven't found them since, but I have found what looks like an exact replica um, or a rebranded version made by Jalert. They're on Amazon for about $12.99. I will put the link in the description. Absolute godsend. This will offer you three stages of brightness. Absolutely cracking. But then that center section, and that's why we're all here, that lit up in blue neon, look at the destruction that causes. So the irony is not lost on me that you're probably supposed to use this outside. Um, you know, hence all of the bright light. I don't feel the need to kill all the bugs while I'm sat outside. I let the fire discourage them from chewing my blood. I use it when I go to bed. Now, it is inevitable that you are gonna have bugs in your van when it is time to go to sleep. You just cannot stop it. As soon as you open the door and you've got lights on in the inside, they all come flooding in. I leave this on blue, literally just on the blue setting on the middle. I leave that on all the time. It charges up via USB. It lasts absolutely ages. I can't remember the last time I, um, I charge that up but yeah once again people will say the, that these are novelty items and I have had versions of these that haven't worked as well or actually haven't worked at all but this you can hear the zap as they get zapped and you just think to yourself that is one less mosquito bite on my body so for $12.99 I believe they are on Amazon absolutely cracking I would not be without one of these and if you were going to look at buying any of these products today get one of these. This has been the camper van top six must-haves. Now there are so many more items. My, my van's probably got a million items all told um, but these are the six that I wanted to share with you guys to make sure that you can take a take a look at them. As I drive myself out of here please consider subscribing. Please drop me a comment in the comments down below um, and I will see you next Tuesday.